gained some levels off stream. Now I'm level 60. Um, hang on a second. My microphone today doesn't want to stay up. I don't know why. Uh, but yeah, so mm, 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 mm. I grinded here. I explored a little bit of this floor off stream just to to see if there were um, stairs to to go back up and go back to the old areas because I wanted to uh, recruit other demons. I don't think we'll be able to do that. Um, I did some testing. And I think I captured... Oh yeah, I captured uh, Quetzalcoatl. Which is higher level. Then uh, Lakshmi. I did some testing regarding uh, what we can fuse right now. I think we can get Anubis. I ha I didn't write down how we can get Anubis, though. Uh, let me try. Oh, God. So, if we get Lakshmi, Lakshmi and Yaksha together, we can get a Ganesha back. So maybe if we fuse Ganesha and no. I know we can get an Anubis. I don't remember how. Was it with a dryad? <clears throat> All right, we saved, so might as well. Hopefully, when we'll reach the final dungeon, there's going to be a way for us to go back. Because I want to do some demon collecting. microphone today. All right, let's try it this way. It is. It's not its original arm, so that's why I'm having problems. As you can see, I had to fix something here. Uh, buying a new mic arm should be my priority right now. All right. Uh, Quetzalcoatl and Dryad, what do we get? Do we get Element Kelpie? No. Uh, Kali, Dryad. Oh, yes. Avatar Anubis. Mm. Hello, Nodo. Not Kelly. 
Yaksha maybe? Should we? Yeah, you know what? Sure. We lose a level 46, we get a level 47. That's okay. And that's it. Uh, so... Let's summon Anubis. I haven't found a way to go up yet, though. Oh! And you know also what I have found out? There's another enemy here that can de-level us. So maybe I should go back and save. Now that we did this stuff. Oh, and also, uh, when I was leveling up, I discovered that 35 is apparently the maximum amount of bonus points you can put into uh, a stat. So we maxed out strength. Now I am maxing out... Uh, I don't know if I want to max out vitality. Uh, yeah, that's a big jump. 38.57, sure. Sure, let's go back and save. And after that, what I should look for is probably the weapon shop. We already got too many fights. Jesus!
when I was grinding, it wasn't like this. I feel like the game is trolling me. Uh, Quetzalcoatl is going to be a problem though. It doesn't have good HP. Unfortunately. Alright, uh, where do we want to go? Uh, weapons and armor. I know they're here somewhere. Don't remember where exactly. Probably... Here, maybe? Yeah, you're about to level up pretty soon. So I can use more this. All right, weapons. Uh, I'm gonna buy. I'm gonna buy the Orichalcum blade. For sure. Vermilion sword, huh? Sure. Oh god. Everything is so expensive. I think we can mitigate damage with our health for now. And we got an NPC that told us that apparently there's ultimate equipment that we can get. Probably super hard to get, but that's what I'm aiming for. All right. Here. Guess I can go this way.
All right, this goes up. Oh, well, this is the teleporter. Mr. J, uh... first of all, how are you doing? Um, it is a better experience than what I thought. Like, it's not like originally when I when I started this playthrough, I was kind of scared because you know, old school. Megami Tensei game, even though this is a remake, so there are some quality of life improvements compared to uh, the original Famicom one. Um, dungeon crawler, so old school dungeon crawler. I wouldn't say I was expecting worse, but we are progressing steadily. There are, there are some things that are just incredibly bad. Uh, like more than one enemy that can permanently de-level your characters. That's unacceptable. Okay. The music the music is is actually pretty good. Uh there's not a lot of music. Like there are like like what? Uh We are in the Sea of Flames. Uh one, two, three, four, five, and definitely six songs uh, for the dungeoning, plus some themes for the mute for the shops, and other stuff like that. It's it's around 10, 11 tracks probably, but it's it's definitely better than I expected. You got a Shimigami Tensei season when you resume your challenge. Yeah, I... I saw what you have to play. You got... You got SMT'd. That goes down. Wait. If you auto battle, the battles are decently fast. Oh, wait, 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 you're new. Oh, come on. That could have been good. With a uh, uh, saga game on top. Oh, which one? I don't remember. Oh god, I got a second. Huh. Let's heal ourselves. Uh Kali Yumidiyama. 
Metal Coddle, you can't. Anubis, what do you have? You have Zamaon. That's Zamaon. Come on, kill. Oh, another thing that, honestly, I would have changed is which enemy you're going to attack. It looks like it's completely RNG. It's still, I, I mean, I, I am ashamed to say that if there's a way to target a specific enemy almost 20 hours later, I still haven't realized it. Mm. Strength. All right, so this is mm -hmm. So I think our next step is to try and find um, uh, Izanami, I think was the name. An NPC mentioned that Izanami is, uh, I think, held hostage or imprisoned in one of the rooms near the eastern border. I don't remember if he specified it, if it was B1F, B2F, 4321. Oh my god! What is up with these encounters now? Good luck and stay alive. I'm trying. We have to go that way. Can we do? Nothing in these rooms. Oh, hello. Ah, uh, of course.
<coughs> Sorry about that. I still have a lingering cough. Fortunately. Nothing too serious. Of course, it was a freaking... Fake wall. Now this goes down. Okay. Oh God. Uh, right eye. Okay, so these are the orbs that we got for the thing in the buses, right? Yeah, this is the ones that... I thought they just activated the elevators. Uh, silence. Oh, come on. Wait. Am I screwed? Am I... Am I screwed? Did I F this up? So I know where I have to go. Oh God, I have to rebuy a C. All right, so I was not expecting to restart.
So what I'm going to do is... I'm going to do this. Hey, Jim. How you doing? I'm going to do this and then we're going to do this. Then I'm going to try start. There was a, there was a, um, a loud ad? Really? Was it worth it, at least? Was it something that you might be interested in? Uh, I'm doing fine. I'm doing fine. I have a question for you, Jim. Uh, regarding something I just did. I don't mind getting, uh, an answer here. So, I think I have found, um, Izanami. And Izanami asks us to use the orbs to, um, free her. And we have to put the orbs in the mask in the right order. Now, I think I effed up. Uh, I used, uh, what was it? The Orb of Silence on the right socket and it threw me out of the room. And when I went in, it said that the jewels I had uh, were not like uh, recharged. I don't remember how the expression, the, the right expression he used. Um, do you have more than one attempt? That's all I want to know. Because I actually restarted. I don't want to know the order. I just want to know if I get more than one attempt after a certain amount of time. If it's just a one-off chance. Jeez, Kali. Mm the most that's okay I guess we'll keep trying until we get it like I know more or less where the room is now we have to go up then down And we saved after the fusion and after getting the weapons, so that's good. We just have to spend another 10 to 15 minutes to get there. So it was here. That's the junk shop. Uh, that's right, it's on the other side. I was about to say. Uh, it should be this one? No. Oh, God. It's on this side. I remember the room to go up was here. Uh... I should be this one. Did 
Yep. All right. Now we do have to go. This way. Sure. What's here again? Oh yeah, we wanted to do this, right? We actually wanted to do this. Setting was the correct choice. Okay, that's that's gonna suck. Is I don't know if I'll be able to get the right combination. I'll try. Okay, I have to. I have to. Um read carefully what she says because I don't know if it's just about using the right gems oh hey 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 come on I have a friend with you uh, I don't know if it's just gonna be the right gems for the right sockets or if it's gonna be that plus oh god jesus what is up with this damage now i have to go back wild behemoth because i don't have anything to some well to be honest though but so cobalt kind of sucks. Not like it will be missed. Uh, b -b 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 -b. I mean, to be honest, the explanation might be the order we got the orbs, maybe? Maybe. Now, do I remember the order? It's obvious if I know mythology. Hmm. Alright, let's remember. So we got the Minotaur. Which got us the Orb of Silence, I think? Ikade got us the Orb of Malice. And 
And then what? Loki? The one of resolve? trying to think also which mythology are we talking about because the Minotaur is from the Greek mythology Loki is from the Norse mythology For all I know, I, I, I'm not really familiar with Japanese mythology. Maybe Izanami is from the uh, Japanese mythology. So we do want to go east. I don't remember where the freaking... I think I went down. Okay. I want to talk with you. Please don't do what I know you're going to do. Of course. Of course. You have to do this. Birth Japan, like the island. Okay. We'll have to get it, though, because I don't want to... I really don't want to, um... Save state, to be honest. It's this way. The thing is, though, the camera turns around with the map, like the map turns around with the camera, so it's not easy to visually remember where our room was. Specifically the stairs. But we do want to go that way, I think. Because it's east, so we're going to go east. And the, the stairs down were really close to her room.
Uh, I mean... Did I use the stairs I had already unveiled? Also be that I thought I used new stairs. It could also be those ones. actually don't want to use these ones or maybe we want no we don't i mean we want to go this way can we we can't we need new stairs Jesus, the encounter rate in this area. Seems even higher. Okay, I'm about to die. Dongo, can we talk with the beast of Dongo? They can't talk. Not the beast of what is this, Zelda? Nothing was here. Okay. Well, this is something new. Yeah, looking a little different there. I swear to God, it took us way less. Last time. Yes. Two F, okay. Looks like after Izanami, we have to focus on trying to go back to two F. Thank <laughs> you. 
To be honest, not really worth it. I was expecting something cooler. Jesus Christ. Right, let, let me clear this, so... Have to see. Another one of these. I wonder if there's any meaning behind it. Nothing was here. These level ups are useless. Because we'll have to <laughs> redo this all over again. Alas! Alas, what I do is. Uh, well, no, I can't. Because I thought, hey, let's find the room, then go back, save. So we have our route already open but i'm pretty sure that if i enter that room and i live it that's gonna be that's gonna have the same effect as failing How did I find her so quickly last time when I was not trying to find her I was just exploring in that general direction back up we don't want to go here but we have found our way up like I'm almost tempted to go back
Wait, how do we reach that again? Wait. Maybe I didn't have to teleport, maybe? Maybe teleporting was not the way to go? I'm gonna save this level ups I got. Just to get to the healer. Sure, let's survive, Quetzal Cuddle. Got it. Not gonna put him in my party though. No. We do want to go back up. We do want to go back up. What's the point of this? That, I'm pretty sure. Not this way. We want to go...
At least we're getting some good stuff here. Jewels are always useful. Alright, let's go up. Now we have to go back down. Now the thing is though... I think we want to go here. How do we go... You see? How do? Hmm. Wait. Because maybe the mistake I did here was to go through a fake wall. Yo, Spartaxes. How's it going? Oh yeah? Tomorrow I start later. <laughs> Ironically enough. I start at 11 a.m. tomorrow. But of course, I'm gonna finish later than usual, uh, 7 p.m. Yep. Well, are you also gonna finish earlier then? All right, so let's see if I'm right. So this, okay, this bring, okay, do not. Well. How the hell did I get? Okay, so I use this fake wall here. Where the, where the S is, don't use that. So the stairs are probably here somewhere. Right? Oh, okay, you need to be at the office around 9 for some new training. Flexible hours, so you... Man, flexible hours. Would love to have that. So if I if I go here. You have flex time start as early as you as you can. So you can end up early, right? Uh, Yumiko, you're going to... I mean, 
Does it really matter? We're gonna have this up, so... It really doesn't. Alright, so we went through this now. Alright, so, okay. Okay, now I have... everything in my mind mm. you work during the times that suit you I see yeah I worked your typical 9 to 5 job with the occasional 11 7 um, 11 7 shift uh, I have to work one Saturday per month, like, next time is gonna be... Well, I am training for, uh, for, um, Saturday shifts right now, so there are some Saturdays that I go only in the morning, but my real first Saturday shift, which is a 9-6 shift, uh, when I'll be alone in the office. It's, I think, Saturday 18th March. This is a tsunami, right? Yes. All right. So, back here again. Carefully place them in order. What does that mean? So let's go with left eye. Oh, come on. Yep. See? Restart. And now all the way back. Why is it so far away? Right, so we used silence right orb of resolve left now let's try the other way around oh this enemy can delevel us by the way yeah we lost the level Nice, awesome, fantastic, incredible. I think, right? Yeah, level 60. Well, I don't really care. We, we, we are decently leveled for this area. You know what was the greatest addiction in the history of video games? The save everywhere feature.
The removal of passwords and save points is one of the greatest achievements ever. <laughs> Wait, why? Why the freaking hell? Why? 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 There's not a corridor there. Save points, you don't mind. Depends on the game. But screw passwords. Well, the original version of this game has a password system because it doesn't have save points. Now, maybe they effed something up when they remade this game uh, on the Super Famicom, but other than that, I can see why someone would want to play the original version over this one. Well, there are, there are definitely some games. There are definitely some games out there that might do that because because of hardware limitations. But at the same time, uh, save points are such a staple of the old era of gaming that I wouldn't be surprised if some developers just went for it because it was a staple. Like, oh, everybody does this, so let's do this. You played the original if you wanted to, your eyes to bleed. Then you had games that were uh, weird with how they implemented the save system. Think about uh, A Link to the Past. In A Link to the Past, you can save everywhere, but you cannot start back where you saved. Like, where you're gonna go back into the game from the main menu, uh, you can choose three locations. Like, the game can only uh, make you choose uh, Link's house, the Sanctuary and uh, Death Mountain if you have discovered it. But technically, you can save your progress everywhere. Yeah, like, you can be in the Palace of Darkness, save your progress, and all the stuff you have at that point will be with you. Same with Ocarina. I think... <coughs> I think Majora's Mask does that too. You play some games and I mean this simply because you can save states to quit and start at any point. Yeah. That's one of the major things. Like I could technically right now save state in front of Izanami's room. And we would be good. Right? But no, we're going for the original experience here. There's only one game that made me save state on Twitch while I was streaming. And I think it was uh, Mega Man and Base. I 
I hated that game. Hated it. Oh god. Alright. Big EXP incoming. You all fast forward? Yeah, fast forward helped me a lot. While playing on my own. Like, for example, while I was uh, playing uh, Final Fantasy 1 Dawn of Souls on the GBA on my own uh, for the retro achievements, uh, while I was, I was missing only one enemy for the bestiary, and it took me like one hour of fast forwarding to find it. Same thing with the Iron Giant in Final Fantasy 2. Now, Imagine that without fast forwarding. All right. Let's use right high. I swear to fucking god. I swear to fucking god. I don't want to look up the solution. There has to be. Maybe we have to go with the forehead first. Maybe. Maybe. Like, even the layout of this place. God, I hate it. The fact that I have to go all the way around just to exit this square. The Sea of Flames is definitely my least favorite area in this game. By a far margin. You get damaged at every step. I don't know if... The, the, the freaking uh, encounter rate is higher in the other areas. And it seems like I'm getting a freaking encounter every single step. Incredibly annoying encounters like this one. I think I'm gonna cut off all these attempts. 
when I'll, when I'll upload this on YouTube. I'll just leave I'll just leave in the first one and the one where we'll finally get it right. Maybe. Alright, so we have to go down. Also, the demons we can get here don't give me anything good. It's a pain in the ass trying to go back. area is just uh. Jesus Christ the encounter rate it takes me like 20 minutes just to go back like the reward we get from Izanami if we get a reward better be good like, better be like, hey, you're going to be invincible at level 99 and you're going to do 900,000 damage with every attack kind of reward. To justify this. Hey, I just... <laughs> I just uploaded $1 million on your bank account. Congrats. <coughs> uh. What if she gets nude? Well, we'll see what's behind the mask. Oh boy. Nineties anime nudity. Are you hyped? Well, we're almost there. Which, by the way, it's something that always made me chuckle a little bit because everyone is like, oh man, anime today is super fan servicey. It wasn't like that back in the days. Yeah, about that. I don't really know. Like the stuff I saw. There was and service back in the days. Like some of the stuff might have been censored, like the original manga. Of certain stuff I've seen, like uh, Arama, for example, had nudity. I think the manga had even more. By the way, if you want to experience Rama, Read the manga. I mean, the anime is fantastic, but unfortunately, it doesn't really end. Not interactive, though. Uh, Ghost in the Shell was very sensual. 
in its execution. My first experience with Ghost in the Shell was actually the PS1 game, which I remember being more than decent. Oh god, wait, 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 no, 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 let me, let me, let me, okay, oh god. Ah. I was about to die there. I really need to get into a 90s anime um, watching spree. All right. Let's start with the forehead. Let's go with Malice. All right, so the Orb of Malice goes there now. So that means that means that not only you have to pick the right gem for the right socket, you also have to go with the right order. So, so that means, yes, yes, uh, left eye, resolve, yes, <clears throat> ah. well, <laughs> I'm sorry, this is not, did I save state? No, I didn't save state. I'm sorry, guys, but apparently you won't get what you wanted. How did I figure that out? I didn't figure that out, Jim. What I did was... What I did was... Going by exclusion. So... First one. Is the forehead. So we tried left. Sorry, we tried right. Uh, silence. And we effed up. Then we went back and we tried uh, left uh, resolve, I think. And we effed up. Right? Then I went back again and I tried uh, right resolve or the other way around. And it didn't work. So I said, okay, let's try forehead. And forehead worked. So that means that we got one third of the puzzle. The second and third sockets, I just locked it out. I was just, okay, let's try. I, I was ready to, to reset once again, to try and find the second and right socket uh, gem. It's a Nami's rope. Oh, you have silk thread? Yes, we got silk thread. Was it from Gaia, I think? But even if I were to begin now, it would not be finished in time for your final battle. Okay. What he's saying right here makes me think that this might be an item we get in the second game. Because she says, she says, if I were to begin now, it would not be finished in time for your final battle. And based on what I was told about this game, this specific version of the game, the second game starts right after you see the credits of the first game. And I know for a fact that some stuff you do in the first game um, is going to take influence on some events that happen in the second one. This may be one of the cases. Perhaps someday it will prove to be useful. See, I think that's going to be the case. Now, that's... Okay, based on what she said. Ah, nice. Okay, okay. Still not... 
seal not the best thing ever but hey we don't get damaged anymore by fire also once again to start so we can save she gave you her clothing she must have couldn't do right maybe off camera no pixel boobas for you jim I'm sorry. No Super Famicom pixelated nudity for you. Not allowed. Alright, so now what we want to do is, I think, what we said is go into 2F and look for whatever the hell we're looking for now. And I think, I think we're going to do it just like we did this. Just like we did with Izanami, we're going to go up and we're going to go back to uh, Rief, right? Was her gift any good? Well, not getting damaged, not getting damaged by fire is already a big plus in this area because I have to heal way less and consume less MP. The feeling of getting the puzzle though, like, like the happiness of doing that is way bigger. Because unfortunately, it's one of those puzzles that is not repeatable unless you go back to it after having restarted. And that means 15 to 20 minutes of random encounters to get back to that. Hey, Anubis, you don't have to die. So in this game, in this game is not a thing, but uh, what about the other Shin Megami Tensei games? Um, do demons evolve? Or uh, just level up with the player? Are they always static? In such a way that the only way for you to advance is to fuse them together? I've seen a demon involved in four, but it's uncommon. Okay, but do they level up? Like, can you actually, can you actually start with a team of demons and finish the game with the same team? So we want to go, we want to go, we want to go up that way. I think so. Just like with Izanami. 
in, in Izanami or Inazami? I think it's Izanami. Which gave the leveling properties. So it starts at some point. I don't remember. Uh, I think... Uh, again, the only other the only other real experience I had with this series in general was Persona 5. But I think in Persona 5 it works like this. Uh, you get... You get your demons. They have... Um, a static level and you fuse them together to get better uh, personas. Let's go with intellect. They'd be too weak for not any anything other than a challenge run, though. So fusing is always the right way to do stuff. Uh, okay, so we want to go here. The fusion is all Atlas ass. Wait, maybe one day Game Freak is gonna start making you fuse Pokemon. The hell? Well, Digimon does that too. I don't know about Digimon World 1, but Digimon World 2 and going on, fusing stuff together is... the real way to, to progress through those games. It works a little bit differently, though. The, the, only, the only reason for you to actually do that is to... Um, gain one plus in um a dna evolution like it's a stat that if you reach a certain a certain uh dna evolution level you're gonna uh, evolve into a different digimon like for example if you want to 100 digimon world 2 that game is already slow as hell like incredibly slow but if you want to 100% that game, it's probably going to be around to two, 300 hours. Because to get the three rarest Digimons, you have to fuse th three different Digimons. Jesus Christ. And got a second. 18 times, I think. You guys so have been fun fusing that you never got around to finish the story. I mean, fusing in Digimon games usually means powering up. The more you fuse, the more uh, of what you get is going to be powerful. All right, so we go this way, right? Perfect. Now we switch to the other side. And then we go... This way. Like, personally, Digimon World 2 is objectively... Like, if I, if I think about objectively about that game, it's... A 5. At best. Like, literally, at best, it's a five. But I have a soft spot for that game. I 
Like, I swear to God, if I can find a way to extract uh, the save file, I, I should oh, I should still have my very, 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 very first save file of that game. If I can find a way to extract it from my old memory card and put it in this... The Memcard Pro, this beauty right here, this is like... I think it's... Uh, well, I, let me just make the calculations. Uh, I think it's... Uh, calculator... 8164 This is more than 250,000 PS1 memory cards in one single one memory card because I'm going to put a 32 gigabytes SD card in it. And this goes into my newest PS1, the one I am uh getting pretty soon. Um, I can transfer the old Digimon World 2 save file on this and probably showcase it. But yeah, the beauty of technology. Retro gaming is getting better and better thanks to people coming up with this stuff. You're gonna see when I'll get my PS1 what I mean. I have already pre-ordered one for the GameCube. This is floor 1F. New floor. Oh god, Vile Astaroth. Let's talk Vile Astaroth. Why can we not talk? I'm gonna kill you then, Vile Astaroth. Okay, you're not that strong. <laughs> oh boy, you know that laugh. You know what it means. What's up, DJ? Thank you very much for the raid. How's it going? Welcome, everyone, from DJ Stream. How are you guys doing? Let me let me give a quick shout out to DJ here. All oh, right, you're playing uh, P4 Golden. How's it going? Well, we're playing. We we'll, we are playing uh, a very old precursor to Persona 4 Golden. We're playing uh, the remake of the very first Megami Tensei game. Digital Devil Story in Megami Tensei. This game originally came out on the Famicom. Then it was uh, re-released uh, as a full-on remake on the Super Famicom. And we're playing that version. This version comes bundled with the second game. As you can see, it's definitely different. Alright, what's this? Nothing. Doing level grinding... Level grinding in Persona games always terrify me. Always terrifies me. Um, because I feel like... I feel like... I am missing... A lot of chances for uh, social linking when I'm grinding. First dungeon boss, your butt... I played a little bit of Persona 4 Golden. I think I played up to the very first uh, dungeon boss back in the days, but it was no, it was not Golden. It was the original uh, Persona 4 version on PS2. I 
gotta use Yarahan on Nakajima. We're getting mauled right away, or either that or a jewel. And Kali, you can use Midyama. So it looks like looks like we cannot recruit that demon oh boy axarod what's up with the questions oh. i go for dj I have to admit. Yeah, I'm not going to fight you. All right, what's this? So this goes up. Before we go up, though, like the old man was unsure okay so it's not 1f it has to be 2f <laughs> where are we going though oh we're actually very close to reach infinity Persky's lair is ahead. It's dangerous. Really, it's, it's really dangerous. But I am more dangerous. I am the one who knocks. I am the danger. Gotta use those Breaking Bad references every now and then. So wait. Fake wall? Right? No, it's not really a fake wall. We haven't been here. This could be... Like, every small room could be the one. This one, for example. No! Well, maybe. I haven't explored all the floor. It's an old urn. You look inside and see a pale white glow at the bottom. You put your hand inside. Don't do that. Okay. Looks like we have to come back. Unfortunately, I think... We cannot progress until we get to that first key, dude.
Hopefully there's a way to go back. Oh, okay. Okay, okay, I see. I see. And it was another fake wall. No. Well, it's only one. How much until the level ups? Oh, Yumiko. You're about to level up, so I'm going to use some Midiyama. game. I'm gonna clean this. Is this a thing? That's literally no reason to have something like this. Literally no reason whatsoever. Okay, so where are we? This could be like... Let's start with our round of normal attacks. Okay. Another round. Oh, okay. It's just a mini boss. Okay, then now, maybe, just maybe. We can check that urn.
Oh, come on. Was it this? Yeah. Oh, okay. This was the old man. So now what we're going to do is... Go into this room right here. So we go down this way. This is going to teleport us. Doesn't look like we can do anything right now with this. Well, now you're attacking me. Oh god, a lot of small rooms. Maybe we can go back to that urn once we defeat the boss of this area. Hi, Nakajima. Uh...
Oh, I'm going back. Don't go back. Alright, so... Small rooms here. Nothing... Just to clear the map. Hey, now that he wants to fight when I say no, maybe I can convince him to join me? Just maybe. interesting because we could te technically we can access infinity for from uh everywhere i think i don't even know why i'm exploring this place it doesn't look like there's a room with an elevator or a boss fight Magic, Paralyte, Attack, can do anything, no you can, um, gotta love it, yep, favorite thing. One at least, come on. All right, at least they drop good EXP when they die. Uh, Yumiko, we should be able to level you up before I think. Boss fight, maybe, hopefully.
God, this place never freaking ends. Okay. Small room. This goes down. To a new area. This, this stuff is useless. It's just a, hey, let me troll you. Because I'm just gonna, gonna check up the map. Okay, so we have to get into this room right here. Nothing. Yeah, but this seems like excessive trolling. Rotating floors? Why? I mean, of course, you can answer me with why not. And I'll have to accept that. Jesus. Oh, don't give this game ideas. Right, Spotixes. Have a good night and have a good day at work tomorrow. See you next time. God dang it. Here above us? What? I have a post cold dry cough that is killing me. You should be ready to level up. Ah. It's not good. Okay, it, it, it looks like we cannot get this one.
not even enough EXP. Jesus Christ. These encounters. Okay, this should make Yumiko level up. Come on. All right. Uh, this doesn't really matter. There is one room, though. Many empty rooms.
Alright, Nakajima is about to level up. Sure. I don't know what he's gonna do for us, to be honest. Ruth. That's a biblical name, by the way. I do remember if it has any relevance when it comes to uh, devils, demons, hell. In fact, I think it might not have a relevance regarding that. I think it's 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 the name of someone's wife in the Bible. Some big shot for the Bible. Okay, maybe just like the, the fake Medusas, the vile Aseroth. Means that we're going the right way. There's an empty room, yes. Oh, DJ answered. See? Most people call me DJ. Like me. Nothing. I mean, should we go back up? Should we? I don't think so. 
Not yet. I do have enough money to go back and buy stuff, though. When Persky dies, Set cannot move. Please close your eyes. No. You're gonna teleport me back. Okay, so maybe we got the item that is needed for the boss of this place, which seems to be set. R written in a uh, different way than usual. Usually, Seth is written as S E T H. Alright, do we go back up? Let me ask you this though, Axelrod. What do you prefer? Axelrod? Like full name? Axel? AX? Axelrod. Entire name. That's what I use for you. It's also, I feel the, it's, it's, I mean, your, your full nickname, uh, is the version that comes more naturally. You operate under the rule of, I wouldn't name myself Axron if I wanted to be called. Bear? No, 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 don't kill you, Miko. Don't kill you, Miko. Yumiko does not have to die. Fuck! Oh, come on! Uh, we have to go back. Oh, fucking hate this. Why are you faster than me? Well, I cannot even teleport. Unfortunately. Because she is... My teleporter. <sighs> this is just a giant ass. Oh, that's right. I cannot go back down from here. Man, they started doing this left and right BS. So I have to go all the way back up. Or, or I should probably... 
You know what? Let's explore. Let let let, let monsters kill me. Not gonna heal. Alas, hang on a second. Wait, 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 wait. Recarm. Yes. Yes. Thank God I remembered about that one move I never used so far. I do have it. Incredible. I'm an idiot. I'm a fucking idiot. I was thinking, is there an item that can revive me? Wait. I do have magic that can do that. Oh, yay. Another beautiful fake wall. It's also a full heal. For eight MPs. Man, Anubis with a Chad. Now, how do we go back? All the way. Ooh. Oof. Oof. Let's go. I'm gonna cry with these long ass corridors. Okay, so if there's if there's a fake wall there. That has to mean there's a an important room. somewhere around that area. that much damage.
I want to go all the way forward. Man. I kind of don't care about dying now. That's going to heal me back. All right, so let's go this way. Infinite Palace. But that's not where we want to go. That's the final dungeon, by the way. Not yet. We haven't defeated Seth yet. It's interesting though, but you can access to what is probably the final dungeon before defeating the boss of each area. Which makes me think that these bosses are optional like maybe some of them are optional but where do i go oh you know what Let's start fresh. We have progressed a lot. We deserve to save. Yo, Pickle, how's it going? We can also buy armor now that we're here. How are you doing today? Oh, also, I completely missed that Sir mix a lot reference there, Axelrod. Just got back from work. Well, happy relax time, Pickle. I hope you're going to have Relax time after work. Are you going to stream? Mm. Okay, wait, 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 wait. We definitely don't want Nakajima to die. We can leave with Yumiko dead. Yumiko also just... It's about to level up. Oh. We 
more speed. I'll have to see if if that's gonna be the case for me tomorrow because I'm gonna be home at 8 p.m. I'm gonna have to prepare dinner, relax just a little bit. So there's a chance we might skip tomorrow. We'll see. If I if I can manage to leave only the final dungeon left, I might try to do that tomorrow. The thing is, it's impossible for me to come back from work and start streaming right away. Like, I need that hour, hour and a half to just do other stuff. But chill. I just need that. Really? This and the shield. And the Yaksha mask. Was the Yaksha mask one of the uh items that were mentioned? I can actually buy two. All my money. Alright, Orichalcum Mail, Orichalcum Shield, and Yaksha Mask. Alright. Is there another exit here? Because... Let's see. I haven't explored this place to the fullest. Oh, Nakajima. Let's max out vitality.
I want to go here. Jewel. Nothing here. There's still this part right here. All right, nothing. I want to make sure to clear every single tile of this place at least because the boss has to be somewhere right should not die. Okay, now there's a small room there. <laughs> to be fair, though, this is a floor where you can heal yourself. There's a save point, there's a church of shadows. What are the odds that the boss is on this floor?
God, these small rooms. Alright, uh, there's this part right here at the center. And also this one. Okay, so Yumiko should die here, but we can revive her. Okay. It had no effect? No. Is it a chance revival? Eating some dinner? What are you eating, DJ? How can you miss a revive spell? What? Are you kidding me? It had no effect. Wait, it worked before. Oh God. It's not a 100% chance revival. No. Meet lasagna. Ooh, lasagna. Tasty. Anything after that? Oh, you're paralyzed. Nice. <laughs> More room here. No, another freaking empty room. I can do this anymore. Do, 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 do. Uh, a dinner I ate. Oh, God, I don't remember what's the English name of. Uh, b -b 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 I'm looking for... Let me see if there's an official name. Uh... Oh yeah. Uh, Nettle Gnocchi. I forgot how to say nettle. Very good. Very good. Nettle on its own? Very bad. But used with gnocchi? Mwah, chef's kiss. Oh boy, it's time, it's time to correct Axorod on how to write Gnocchi. So, in Italy, we do have the CC sound, it's Chi. Uh, it's a, it, it, the CC sound, it's Chi. To say the K sound is CH. In that case, it would be G-N-O-C-C-H-I. Here's some Italian grammar offered to you by me. You never had gnocchi before? Uh, usually, usually, uh, 
tradition wants to eat gnocchi here in Italy um, on Thursdays. Don't ask me why. You don't write that word very often. I can see that. I just took the assist for uh, a small Italian lesson. Okay, I think what we have to check, we have like what? This place checked and now we can go up to see if, if we can find Seth. Uh, how do we get there though? We have to go up and down again. We can do it from here. There's also this room. Oh, this is the Izanami room. But yeah, on Thursdays here in Italy, it's not unusual to hear someone ask you if you had gnocchi for for lunch. Not something that I eat very often though. Like, in my personal experience, in my own traditions, it's usually uh, a weekend dish. When and if you re reunite with uh, your family, for example, for a Sunday lunch. Uh, it's, it's a very grandma type of pasta. Because usually it's homemade. Like homemade gnocchi are like five times, ten times better than the ones you buy um, at the shop. That's why it's a grandma dish. Gnocchi and uh, fettuccine, another grandma dish. Unfortunately, I don't know how to how to make uh, homemade pasta. I would love to learn too, though. We can dish does not compete with you. It's, it's like only eating tacos on Tuesday. Tacos are for every day. Except I never had taco in my entire life. I don't even think it's that easy to order one here. Like it's a very... It's a very uh, niche dish. It's probably more, more usual um, to find tacos in big cities like Rome, Milan. But here where I live, not that easy. Okay, there's this, the, the, Izan the Izanami part, I have completely managed to unexplore that part for whatever reason. Oh, this goes down again, though. Wait, 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 wait. Did I go back? I did go back. I'm a fucking idiot. 
Get a tortilla, cook it, and then put some meat on it. Fold it in between your fingers and eat. Easier said than done. Let me tell you. Yeah, because we want to go here. Easier said than done. Like, I suck at making food with my hands. When it comes to cooking pasta, make some uh, condiment to go with it. I can do that. Like, for example, if I train enough, I can make a very good carbonara. Which, to me, is still the best way to eat pasta. Like, if done well, it's a heavenly dish. If you roll the tortilla around the meat, you can have a burrito. If it's small enough, a taquito. Well, looks like it's one of those. One of those things that is just, like, literally... Something that you can uh, shape to your imagination. All right, so this was. Absolutely nothing. This goes down to Izanami. Uh, let's keep checking this place. Without, without going. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's go down. Oh, God. Okay, we, we talked about food a lot here, but how about drinks? What do you usually drink with your food? Do you go simple water? I like fresh water. Like, I'm a water guy. I don't drink soda, to be honest. Or, to be fair, I quit. I cut, like, 90% of my soda's intake. Yumiko! Uh... A new taco place opened up. They have the biggest tacos you've ever had. They're also the most flavorless tacos you've ever had. Five out of seven means they had tasted like nothing. So they go quantity over quality, which is the worst way to approach food making. I swear to God. Maybe I have to go to Infinite. Maybe Set is the final boss of the game. Your drink selection is pretty small. You two stop um, drinking sodas. It's very rare. Yeah, I mean, usually if I drink soda, it's literally like <laughs> a small Pepsi Cola. That's it. And I said Pepsi, not Coca-Cola. Like if I have to sacrifice my body, like so sacrifice my body and drink a soda, it's going to be Pepsi. The cranberry plus raspberry, ju plus raspberry juice or cranberry plus pomegranate juice as well as water. Let's
That sounds like a good combination. Uh, hang on a second. You know what I've been experiencing these days? And I know it, it, it might sound like blasphemy compared to what I said multiple times on this channel. But, but, um, I actually enjoy pineapple juice. Once the moon's face changes, the path shall reopen. Oh, wait, 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 then, oh god, I should have checked this before. So maybe this means that we could have gone back to Izanami after a moon phase change without resetting. Ah, uh, boo. One well, of the things is pretty recent, you'd rather want the person, but it's pretty cheap. Uh, for me, it's free. Like, it's not like this for everyone uh, here where I live, but I live near a natural water source. Like in my area, there's a pretty big natural water source. And so I get pure, pristine, clean water, natural, straight into my home. Like, I rarely buy water. Like, bottle packs, very rarely. Now that we maxed this, let's max speed, I guess. Oh, Anubis, you're about to die. Don't die, please. You don't deserve that. Where do we want to go? Is there any... Like... Okay, it's not here. It's not here. Also, there's some bottled water that just doesn't taste right to me. Then let's go back up, I guess. Oh, Jesus Christ. Am I allowed to like pineapple juice? I am allowed. Pineapples are illegal in England. Pineapples on pizza are illegal. Like, if for whatever reason, a, a pineapple tree grows, start growing near a pizza place, you can bet whatever you want that someone is gonna cut it down. We do not allow. We do not allow that kind of contamination. All right, we're back here. Uh, I don't see.
What about if you cook pineapple juice into the tomato sauce for the pizza? That's even worse. Because at least if the the pineapple, the pieces of the pineapple, if you can see them on the pizza, you can still remove them. But when it's in the sauce, it's done. Like the crime has been committed. You might as well put poison in it. Jesus Christ, just freaking die. God. Oh my God. When was the last time I had pineapple on pizza? Uh, never actually, never had. I just refused out of principle. As I've said multiple times, I might make that uh, a channel points reward for me to try pineapple on pizza on stream, like to Like, that, that's a good way to, to attempt at killing my poor Italian soul. Okay, we have two rooms there. So let's go this way. Do, 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 do. This? Nothing. Very nice. But I said that at 1 million deaths. That's exactly what I was thinking about. 1 million. I could make that. I could make that. Uh. Collector reward, but I think you can only make collector rewards with channel points lasting for a certain amount of time. I don't think you can set an indefinite time. So it has to be something like reach 1 million points in one month. Do, 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 do. How much did the nest level up? A lot. Man, we are... Wait. Okay, so it has to be... Not this floor. I mean... It has to be the other floor. We have to go up. we have to go up. Do, 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 do. Oh. 
Okay, so we have to go up. <laughs> because based on this map, uh, we cannot proceed to infinity on this floor. Floor one, we can. I think floor two was when we got to infinity. So maybe we have to check some stuff here. I think we are over the estimate. It's honestly not as horrific as people claim. Certainly not the best thing in the world, mind you, but nowhere near disgusting for baseball. I mean, it's probably not that disgusting, but it's just a, it's just a thing that I don't know. It's, I don't think fruit should go on a pizza it's it's just ugh. also the pineapple taste mixed with the, the the taste that the pizza i usually eat as i don't know i don't think it goes very well with it all right so Let's check floor one again, and then we're gonna check floor two again. I dare you like pineapples as an Italian. Hey, I just said that... Pineapple juice on its own? It's not bad. Okay, this is a treasure chest. I'm gonna check every single place in order. And now we're going to proceed. I'm an imposter. Yeah. Last week's cold got the real Ryoshin. I'm the doppelganger. Fuck Xenoblade. What's the point of these Astaroths? <laughs> you got me. Also, they look around, but... Oh, hey, Yumiko. Your MPs. Where are they? A long till level up? Why am I checking this? Nine, uh, very close. Jesus Christ, we got to level 68. I'm pretty sure. That's kinda over leveled for this area. Not that I'm noticing it though. As you can see, Being level 68 or being level 50 seems like exactly the same so far. I think at the end, what defines the speed or how battles will go, it's probably the demons you have in your party. 
Jesus Christ. Okay, there's nothing here, so I guess... We're gonna go up. Maybe check... This floor right here. We have to... Check it in a better manner. So we're gonna go up and then down. Yumiko, you Mapar. And Kali, you Mediyama. Okay, this is the way to Infinity. There might be something here, though. But I do want to go down now. All right, so to go down, we have to go all the way around again. Don't you love it? I do. Let's go. No, maybe I should. Someone's Quetzal Coral. It's extra damage. Alright, we want to go here. Now that we don't get damaged every step, most of the time, can be a little bit more useful. Uh, let's go down. Now let's check this other side of floor one. Let's see. Clear the entire floor. Like, what's the point of these rooms? Again. Ooh, we got one jewel. No, uh, let's go here. Nothing. Come on, give me that level up. Do, 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 do.
One more. One more. I don't know. Maybe there's a... Oh, come on. This encounter right here. Why? No, 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 no. I'm gonna risk it. Okay, perfect. We can level up. No. Well, she can heal herself though. We're gonna get our MPs back at the next battle. Hmm. How about... Eight equals I. Anubis is cool. Anubis is cool. For sure. More strength. To be honest, though, like, if we take a look at... Our demons... Like, okay, Ganesha... It's an elephant. Like, Kali looks awesome. Always loved... The design of the goddess Kali, or the god Kali. I never, I never remember if Kali has a gender or not. Look at the newbies. It's like, yeah. Look at this. I have a staff. And I'm proud of this staff. No oh, orange. Also, if the boss of this area is Seth. That's gonna be cool. Uh, both Anubis and Seth are part of the Egyptian mythology. Which is a mythology I would love to 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 know more about. It's very fascinating. I remember being uh, captivated by uh, Tomb Raider 4, uh, the last revelation, specifically because it took place in Egypt. Never got too far into that game. I think I replayed the tutorial race level 50 times. Mm, let's see. There's this room we haven't checked. Oh. Nothing here.
Remember what I said? This area is gonna be shorter than Mazurka. Yeah, sure. Definitely happened. Jesus Christ, I can't. With these freaking random encounters. And all that poison, Nakajima do. Uh, more intellect. Hmm, I think it's better to use magic. Magic. All right. Uh. Is there any other place we haven't checked? Very close to ask for a hint here. Like, very close. I'm gonna check another couple of things and then I'm gonna ask for a hint. Which is gonna be something very simple. Something that you can probably check, even if you don't know about it. Because for all I know, I might be losing time here. Like, I might just literally... Sorry, I might just be wasting my time. This is where we found Ruth. Well, oh, there's this place we haven't checked. How do we get there, though? We're going all the way around. Why do I ask questions if I know the answer? I think these Aserots are probably playing the same role that the fake Medusas were playing, like pointing you towards the right direction, like they're probably saying, hey, you're going the right way, if you see me, that means you're going the right way. So, um, nothing here. Mm -hmm. Why is there no wall there? Alright, I have a question, and you can check if you want, if you don't remember. 
is Seth in this dungeon? Like, am I me looking for a boss fight here? In this dungeon? Is it wasted time or not? That's all I want to know. A simple yes or no are sufficient. I don't know. Who knows? Oh, God. Why is this a thing? So the, the Holy Urn seems like we can do anything with it for now. Okay, there, there is stuff here. Where am I right now? I also should be very close to the exit here. Like there is a connection on this floor to infinite. There is. Where is it, though? It has to be like some secret passage or some BS. I'm gonna get to level 99 where I find the boss. Alright, we checked this part of the floor and nope, that was not a thing. No, I don't want to close my eyes, because you're going to teleport me back. We have already played this game, lady. Alright, I checked these rooms. Uh,
Here above you, here above you, here above us, okay, maybe that's the, I mean, we already got that in, to be honest, I completely forgot about it. Maybe it's the game telling us, hey, you have to check this place. Above you. Let's go back up. Gotta heal Ganesha. What is here? Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. I put Quetzalcoatl back in my in my freaking party. So these battles are gonna go even faster. I knew it. I fucking knew it. That was gonna be a freaking Oh god, fake walls. Jesus. God, I hate this dungeon so much. The only thing it has going on is the visual effect of the flames. That's cool. That's it. That's it. Uh, other than that, I hate it. A lot of dead ends. Too many dead ends. Maybe it's this. Nope. Uh, well, I mean, if I go here, we haven't done absolutely anything. It's 
this right here. All this stuff. Man, I almost got all my money back. Do not go left. Oh, Quetzalcoatl is paralyzed. Fuck this fight. Do not go left. That's a trap. Oh, Yumiko, you're gonna level up pretty soon. Oh god, this room might be something so let's actually trigger a fight here so we can level up this fight is not gonna be enough though i think these enemies give out very little exp I'm doing this, and there's a big chance that that room is not the one, but I don't want to risk it. I have very little MP with Yumiko. Come on!
Is this the one? A treasure chest. With a patronaut in it. All right. <laughs> I'm tired. Where the fuck is that? I'm, I'm really tired. I don't care. I, I want to look where it is. If it's even in this dungeon. To be honest. Where is Set? Okay, Set is in this dungeon. Where exactly? Good God, who designed these maps? They're horrible. Floor one? I've been already to floor one. What the hell? Floor one where? I swear to God, if it's a place I've already checked, I'm gonna cry. Guess let's go back down. Without maybe getting an encounter every two steps, that would be good. Kojima, you're gonna get more intellect. Every encounter one step. All right. Is he in this area? Uh, wait. Let me. Is it in this area? It should be. God, I don't understand who designed this map. To be honest. Okay. Okay, but it's not here, though. No, it is here. It is in the bottom, the bottom part. How the fuck do you get there? And there are some stairs. Stairs? Oh, it's in a part I haven't explored yet. Oh, God. Okay. Uh. What? I have explored everywhere. Like, literally. Okay. Oh, Jesus. Uh, 
Uh, no, wait, that's the... Nah, that's the... That's the Infinity Entrance. That's the Infinity Entrance. Oh, come on. I know exactly what is wrong with this. I know exactly what is wrong with this. Ah. Uh, I know exactly what's the problem here. Ah, uh, okay. No, it is the entrance to Infinity. If I'm right, though... Shame on me. For not thinking out of the box. If I'm right. Yeah, sure. Why this encounter now? Why? 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 Jesus Christ, as soon as I can get level 50 to 60 demons, hell, if there are demons higher than level 60, let's overkill it. I want to steamroll everything that moves in this game. So, did I go the right way? Yes. I think the big problem here is that... Oh, really? I thought that was the entrance to Infinity. Oh, I'm a fucking idiot. I'm an idiot. Oh, jeez. Okay, so... Uh, fuck me. I was so convinced that was the entrance to Infinity. I was absolutely 100% convinced that that was the entrance to Infinity. Because we enter at infinity from floor two, right? Fuck. I was 100% convinced. <sighs> Jesus Christ. At least we have the item we need. Sad to begin writhing in pain. Alright, as always. One round of normal attacks. Sure. Missed. Ooh. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Look, I'm not familiar too much with this series, but I know that name. Maragadine, I know that that's trouble. Usually, that's trouble. Sure. I mean, look at that damage. Stop. 
stop missing, please. All right, I think I want to attack magic. We're going to do uh, Midiyama attack. Kali, how about a Midiyama? Just to mitigate some of the damage. All right, that was a missed turn there. Is this the only move you know? Why? Yep, yeah, that's the only move you know. Okay, he wasted the turn doing something. Nice. kidding me don't do that ever again holy shit use maragadine please thank you Come on, it's almost dead. Yes. Ah. Oh, the Lion Shield. The Lion Shield was one of the legendary items. Right? He was. All right. There's one simple thing we're going to do. Not re-enter here. Oh, okay. We are going to do this. We're going to save. And we're going to stop the timer because I'm done for today.